Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about NAN. In our previous classes, we had an idea about what NAN means. NAN is used to fill the empty places in the data frame. So please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete Python for data science. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, in our previous classes, whenever we combined two data frames using append method, uh, there we discussed about NAN and in our last class also we discussed about NAN. NAN is used to fill the empty spaces in data frame. So that is how we use this NAN. Let's take an example and understand what NAN means. Uh, we are taking this test.csv file. This file we already discussed in our previous class, sample data. You can take any data. In this test.csv, we have mentioned uh, some few empty spaces. The empty spaces are filled with NAN. So the important point you have to understand with this NAN is uh, NAN is not of any data type. Uh, here, this column. When, uh, that's why we have displayed this df.d types. Uh, you, you see that uh, the first one is considered as int, the second one is object, object float. Uh, but each, uh, even we have nan in this column, so don't it won't consider it as a string or like that. Uh, nan is not of any time. We cannot convert this nan into any type also. So nan is especially used in Python. Uh, not only in pandas, it is available in numpy, it is available in our uh, basic python nan using float, uh, there it is a special value in the float. Uh, so we will discuss those things in our uh, numpy and uh, basic python in pandas. Uh, so we are discussing here, so nan is not of any type, uh, we cannot convert that into any type also. So that's why it won't consider this, uh, so that's why it is given it as a float data type this column is given as float data type this is the point you have to understand and one more important point you have to understand here see here in this column amount column we are having nan and nan two nans are there if you compare these two values those two values are also not equal two nans are not equal that is how python consider it why it is not equal let's try to understand the example if we are taking the first nan from the amount column equal to when we um, uh, when we use the comparison operator equal to double equal to df dot loc of six dot amount we are taking the second nan it is showing that uh, if this condition is true it will go for print equal else it is going to display not equal it is displaying not equal two nans are not considered as equal the reason why they are considering it as not equal maybe it sounds like nan nan both are same but uh, in reality they belong to two different empty spaces two different uh, members let's consider maulesh as one member mohit as another member they are two separate things uh, that's why they are considering it as a uh, two nans are not equal the similar concept is available in database null values okay and okay oh, if you don't know what's database management system so forget about that uh, these are not considered as the uh, same so this is the point you have to understand now coming to the next uh, the methods that are related to the null values and it's so sorry it's not null values nan values uh, nan values is a uh, easy na easy na is going to take the each element it will co compare the each element it will check the each element if it is a nan value it will return true otherwise it, it will return false so this is on our data frame we applied easy na okay it is giving false 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 true whenever it is having an nan value it is giving it as true so what's the use of this easy na when it is giving false or true it is identifying whether the um, space is nan or not uh, it is filled with some data that is what it is going to identify in our last class when we discussed about uh, different data frame methods uh, what we have discussed uh, we have discussed two methods all and any method uh, so what's the use of those methods that we will understand here in this class that is what we mentioned in our previous class uh, See here, we are taking a row nan is equal to empty list. We are taking an empty list uh, for index dot comma rows in uh, df dot uh, iterate rows of. Uh, this is the method used to iterate on the rows in the data frame. It will take first line. It will give give the uh, uh, it will give the values here to the row and index to the index index variable. 
is nan present this is the variable we consider is equal to take the first row and convert using is na so with this we can identify if is nan present dot any of what's the any of method will do it will check for if any one is true means if any empty space if any nan value is there in the line this condition will be true that's how we will use the any method means the line consists of a nan value we want to if you want to identify which lines consist of nan value these are the lines this is the code used to display 2 4 5 6 these are the index values index these are the lines that consist of nan values uh, so that we can delete this we can drop this NA, these lines using drop method that is how we use any and all methods which we discussed in our previous class uh, coming to the next one fill na of in place of na nan value what we want to fill here we are going to fill using a uh, fill a zero value that's why in the m nan places it is going to fill zero nan places it is going to fill zero in the nan places it is going to fill zero okay next one is drop na method drop na method means uh, it is going to drop the values uh, drop the values not the values uh, we can drop the entire line if axis is equal to zero it is going to drop the entire line see here df dot drop na of axis is equal to zero whatever the values were two four what are the lines that consist of two four five six so two four five six after removing this 0 1 3 7 these are the lines which consist of do, they don't contain any nan values uh, you can use drop na method using if you if you give it as the axis is equal to 1 it will delete the columns it will drop the columns that is how we use axis is equal to 0 and axis is equal to 1 for uh, so that's why in most of the columns this column consists of name column consists of an uh, nan gender column consists of nan amount column consists of nan that's why it is going to drop all the columns only serial number column is uh, provided next one is next option is drop na method drop na of axis is equal to 0 comma how is equal to how is the parameter used to check any or or all any means uh, if your line consists any one null value drop it all means uh, if your line consists all or null values then only drop it that is how we use this uh, any or all option in the parameter how to drop our options okay hope you understand the concepts if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you